Today I've got a nice number theory problem that comes from the Gulf Math Olympiad in 2017. So it's a four-parter. There's our three warm-ups and then like the main event. So the main question is, can we solve these equations? So we've got the absolute value of two to the m minus three to the n equals five, 19, 11, and 2017, where m and n are natural numbers. So let's get started. So maybe this first one is fairly easy. Notice if we take m equal to three and n equal to one, well, pretty clearly two cubed minus three to the one is most definitely equal to five because that's just eight minus three. Okay, so now moving on to this second one, can we find something that solves this for 11? And we can, and it's fairly straightforward as well. Let's take m equal to four and n equal to three. So in this case, we'll flip the difference because the power of three is larger. So we have three cubed minus two to the four. Let's notice that that is 27 minus 16, which is for sure 11. And then finally, we can make this one with 19 by taking m and n equal to three. And that's because we'll have 27, which is three cubed minus eight, which is two cubed. That's most definitely equal to 19. So now let's look at these and see if these give us some sort of hint for the answer to this question. And so perhaps we'd want to reduce these mod something and compare, you know, the equivalence class mod, whatever we're working of these um, and 2017 and see if they match. We'll notice that five is congruent to five mod eight. 11 is congruent to three mod eight. And 19 is also congruent to three modulo eight. So it looks like if we've got things that are congruent to three or five mod eight, we've at least got a chance to have a solution. But what is 2017? Well, so let's notice that 2017 is one more than 2016, which is a multiple of eight. So that means 2017 is congruent to one mod eight. So perhaps we can't get a solution if it's one mod eight in general, and this is just a special case of that. Or perhaps there are some places where we can get a solution when it's one mod eight. And this is just maybe like some sort of subtle hint that since 2017 is not one of these types, then there is no solution. But any way you look at it, it's probably a good guess that there is no solution to this fourth part. And that at least gives us a thing to start with. So on the last board, we've motivated this guess, which we'll prove as a claim. And that is the absolute value of two to the m minus three to the n equals 2017 has no solution over natural numbers. And since we looked mod eight on the last board, we probably want to look mod eight here. But that's a little sticky if this power of two is not a multiple of eight, which tells us we should potentially split the cases when m is equal to one and two off separately. So let's look at the case when m is equal to one. Three to the n minus two is equal to 2017. The power of three will clearly be larger here, but that'll give us, let's see, three to the n is equal to 2019, but 2019 factors nicely as three times 673, which is prime. Well, that's most definitely not a power of three. So now moving on to this next one, when m is equal to two, again, we'll need the power of three to be larger in this case. Otherwise, there's maybe clearly not a solution. So we'll have three to the n minus four is equal to 2017, which leads us to see that three to the n must be equal to, let's see, 2021, which factors as 43 times 47. Again, clearly not a multiple of three. So now let's move on to this case right here when m is bigger than or equal to three, which means that two to the m is a power or is a multiple of eight. So in other words, it's congruent to zero modulo eight. But if it's congruent to zero modulo eight, that means we can look at the following congruence. 
3 to the n is congruent to, let's see, plus minus 2017 modulo 8. But let's recall that 2017 was 1, so that means we get 3 to the n is congruent to plus minus 1 mod 8. But now let's just make a chart of powers of 3 mod 8 to get a handle on what n could be. So let's do n and then 3 to the n, we're working mod 8. We need n to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That should be far enough to see some repetition. So 3 to the 0 is 1, 3 to the 1 is 3, 3 squared is 9, but 9 is 1 mod 8. 3 to the 3, well that's going to be 3 again, and then notice it will repeat. And the important thing to notice here is the only time that you get 1 mod 8 is when n is even. So that means, like I said, that n is an even number. Furthermore, it tells us that we cannot have a minus 1 mod 8 here because we never achieved a 7 over here, which is minus 1 mod 8. So we know that n is even, and we also know that this minus sign is impossible. So now if we set n equal to 2 times a, and use the fact that we can't get a minus in here, drifted back up into our original equation, that means that our equation really looks like this. 3 to the n, but n is 2a, so that will be 9 to the a, but maybe I'll write that as 3 to the a squared, and then minus, let's see, it'll be 2 to the m, equals 2017. So that's our equation at the moment. Now, where would we like to go from here? Well, now we'd like to get a handle on m, and we'll do that by reducing mod 9, because we know that that must be a multiple of 9. So, reducing this whole thing mod 9 will lead us to 2 to the m is congruent to, let's see, it's going to be 8 modulo 9. But where do we go from here? Well, we're gonna make another chart here. So in this case, it'll be m, and then it'll be two to the m, and just keep in mind that we're working mod nine, and we wanna achieve eight. So let's see, we'll go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be far enough to see repetition start. So let's see, two to the zero is one, two to the one is two, then we have four, then we have eight. 2 to the 4 is 16, but reducing that mod 9, we get 7. And then we'll have next is 14, but that will be 5. And then we'll flip back over to the number 1. So I guess importantly, we see that m must be 3, but not really 3, because notice if we get to 6 again, we have 1. So it really has to be like 6 times something plus 1. So in other words, here we have m is equal to 6b plus 3, I should have said. Okay. So that means we really have a kind of more interesting equation. We have this 3 to the 2a, maybe I'll write it like that for now, minus 2 to the 6b plus 3 equals 2017. So now let's work on that. Okay, so so far we've reduced our problem to the following setup. Can we solve 3 to the 2a minus 2 to the 6b plus 3 equals 2017. And I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. I'm going to rewrite this as, let's see, a, let's see, 9 to the a minus, oh, that's going to be 8 to the power 2b plus 1 equals 2017. And now here's where my solution is definitely going to differ from what was the intended solution. And that's probably because I couldn't find the intended solution. So from here, what I did is I looked for numbers that I could reduce modulo that number and get to a point where it's easy to check that there is no solution. And I had to go pretty far. And in fact, I used Mathematica to check it. 
But what you can check is if you reduce this whole setup mod 39, and that's why I say this was not the intended solution because on a contest, you would never really need to go this far. But anyway, if you reduce mod 39 and then you check all of the appropriate values of A and B when you're working mod 39, you'll see that there is no solution. Okay, so I know that might seem like a little bit of a cop-out, but maybe you can find the intended solution and post a sketch of that solution in the comments. And that's a good place to stop. Thanks for watching and sticking around until the end of the video. And since you're here, don't forget to gently press that like button, subscribe, ring the bell, and select all notifications to never miss a video. If you wanna get your name in the credits like you see here, access the live seminar series, review videos before release, and more, go to patreon.com slash michaelpenmath and become a Patreon member today. If you want full ad-free course content, subscribe to my second channel, Math Major. I've got courses on linear algebra, complex analysis, and proof writing, among several others. And that's everything. Bye.